Hi there, welcome to C-Studio AGI channel. Today we're going to unbox the Recomputer J4012, our 2023 customer top World Day Rethinks device from the Jason Howard product line. We'll check out what's inside the package, how to set it up as a red to go computer, and how to deploy the computer vision and local large language models on it with simple steps. After watching this video, you can get started with the device easy peasy. The Recomputer J4012 is a powerful and compact embedded AGI computer, powered by the combination of the open source carrier board and the NVIDIA Jensen Orient X 16 GB production module, which can deliver up to 100 times AI performance. By combining the 1024 core NVIDIA Ampere architecture GPU with 32 tensor cores and the 8 core ARM 64 based CPU for powerful operating capability. With pre installed Jetpack 5.1.1 on system with various certifications to help accelerate your product to market. With great support from Axon and Belena, you can also deploy your devices in large scale, all convenient for the device management and BSP OTA updates. To make diverse application and influencing power requirements, we extend the Recomputer as a whole product series, covered full range of JSON modules from JSON Nano. ZVNX to Orient Nano and Orient X, providing AI performance from 0.5 teflops to 100 tops. Here's how to do it. Start out by cleaning your install space, then gathering all the parts from the auto package. It includes the recomputer edge box and the power adapter as 90 watts 5 ampere standard. Now let's take a closer look at the recomputer J4012 H device. Here's the classic C-Studio logo at the front panel. We also provide logo customization for a solution in production. The side panel is surrounded by aluminum frame. And for the I.O. panel, we provide convenient and practical connectors, including the DC power jack, HDMI 2.1, 4 USB 3.2 Type-A, RJ45 GB Ethernet, and USB 2.0 Type-C. The upper cover is magnetically connected to the whole case so that you can easily open the top cover while protecting the integrity of the H device without losing or damaging the internal components. On the back side, you see there are four screw holes in case you need to mount your recomputer on the wall or place at the desktop. The recomputer is actually a hand size measured of 13cm length, 12cm wide, and 5.85cm height which can be easily embedded into various scenarios from autonomous machine to industrial system. We also provide comprehensive certifications such as ROS, CE, FCC, KC, UKCA, ensuring your product to market. Besides the basic connections, let's look inside what are the highlight features. There's an open source recomputer J4012 carrier board, a JSON RNX module connected with the fan, now let's take apart these components to get a full picture of the carrier board. Well, doesn't matter. For this part, we'll use two types of screwdrivers, the 2.5mm cross screwdriver and the 2.5mm Allen wrench as Hashigan. There are four screws that hold the board with the case. Now let's remove the screws up. And now we can remove the camera board. Remember also remove the fan connector from the 4-pin PWM fan interface. The JSON module is secured with the board through other two screws. After removing them, there are two remaining clips on the side of the module. So we should release the clips to slide up the module from the two 16-pin solid connector. Besides the interfaces that we mentioned before, there are also dual CSI camera connectors, UART header, CAN, 4-pin GPIO. On the underside of the board, we have the M.2 key M slot for extra NVM Express SSD connection. Here we provide a 128GB SSD 
with Jetpack 5.1.1 pre installed on it, so that you can directly power on the device without flashing configurations. There are also M.2 key E for wireless connection with Wi-Fi or Bluetooth modules. And here's the RTC socket. Now let's reinstall the recommended J401 into the case, quickly assemble all parts together and power it on for the next development. Let's connect all the necessary equipment. Here's the Ethernet, mouse and keyboard, display, and finally plug the power in. Note that the part list doesn't include the power cable since the specifications for power cables vary from country to country for customers around the world. So please choose the appropriate power cord module for your country when you purchase on the website, whether it's UIs or European standard. Once the green light shows up, it's good to go. The initial setup takes a couple of minutes with preferred language, setting username and password, these kind of user questions, then log in to get into the main workspace. To make sure we have sufficient packages available for our further AI deployment, we should check in the terminal to install the necessary package first. Now we install the JTOP tool to monitor usage of hardware and also the MVP model to release all JSON resources to the max. Then we reboot the device. Since every computer has pre-installed JPEG 5.1.1 version before delivery, so it's already integrated the CUDA environment, OpenCV, DeepStream packages, and etc. Now we should configure the Docker runtime environment. Here you can refer to the NVIDIA official tutorial. Now the device is ready for the HAI project. To quickly get experience with the JSON development and deployment, we provide the open source JSON example GitHub repository with various computer vision and large language model applications to help simplify your deploying pipeline. Here we collect each example in a Docker image. You only need to use this one line command to deploy it on your local site. Let's take an example of this Autolytics ULO. In each Docker page, you'll learn what's the model used for, how to download and run it with simple steps, and how's the result look like. Now we follow the quick start guide in Terminal, install JSON example packages. Then we check the list of models that the JSON example is currently supported. Here we find Ultralytics YOLO, and we run it on JSON with one line comment. Just wait a moment when you first load it. Once you see the IP address, the download part is completed successfully. Now let's go to the web UI to run model on JSON. Here you can choose the model size and also the input type as live stream or image or video and upload your input source, then start running. Here's loading around one minute. And Della, here you see the detection result on the right side. To accelerate the inference speed for better performance, you should convert model from the .pt to the TensorRT format. You can follow our wiki to quickly learn how to use TensorRT and DeepStream on JSON. More than that, you can also one command deploy LIM such as Meta Lama 3 to get more human like response efficiently. Now let's chat with the virtual assistant. You can see that the model can be loaded normally because there's only half memory used currently, and the model is totally running on the GPU with great token generation speed. Now feel free to explore your AGI world. If you're looking for a powerful embedded edge AI device to get experience of the latest vision AI and LLM technologies, that's the one. With the strong inferencing capability and the latest Jetpack 6.0 support, it really helps simplify the edge AI development and deployment. Alright, last but not least, if you found this video useful, 
Don't forget to like the video and subscribe our channel to get more latest HAI resource updates. Leave a comment anytime when you meet any problems by using the Recomputer JSON device. We are always here to help. See you next time.